All right, let's, yeah, let's get started. So, uh, one thing I want to do quickly before we get started, um, is everyone needs to, as quickly as you can, get a drink of some sort. Dylan, do you have tea? I know it's morning. I do. Perfect. I do okay. indeed. Gonna give everyone a second to get some sort of liquid in a glass. I have prepared a tiny little um, midday shot of Ardbeg, which is my drink of choice. And we are all going to toast to the Garbage Fire Twitch channel, uh, the the inauguration of this Twitch channel. Because I know I've streamed, but those were those weren't real. Those weren't real. Uh, real streams. The real stream is when we start Dark Souls 2, which we are doing right now. <laughs> so if everyone <laughs> everyone is ready, uh, we're we're gonna. Um, th this is to the Garbage Fire Twitch channel, and hopefully being a complete entertaining mess. And to Dark Souls 2 probably being the best Souls game, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we are consecrating this channel with Dark Souls 2. <sighs> yep, we are consecrating it with Dark Souls 2. Um, I am excited. I have been excited to get back to streaming. I've been very excited to play Dark Souls 2. Um, excited to kind of get my life back together. Um, and... Yeah, let's just get into this. So I know, I know a lot about this. So, okay, we'll have subtitles. We'll have the HUD on. Um, let's see. Honestly, this brightness looks fine. Um, I do know some things about this. I I know that it is the most divisive Souls game. Um, I know that it is filled with brilliant moments and also filled with the worst moments. <laughs> um, and I know that there is a stat for invincibility frames. Um, so, yeah, target auto lock. Okay, yeah, I that... think all the I think all the defaults are fine. Jump controls. No, that should be B because that it's B in um, Dark Souls One, yeah, right? It, yeah, it, they they attempted to try and put it on a different stick, okay. so you didn't accidentally like roll and or like a. Uh, like back step and jump or like okay. screw that up but if you want to keep it on b that's totally um, I'm fine i'm used to it on b what would you suggest though um stick jump i i think hmm. i personally like the stick jump better okay um, i'll try stick jump then or is that going to ruin dark souls one for me now having the stick jump. uh i don't think so because you just you don't jump all that often in these games it's okay. like not until not until sekiro and elden ring where jump really becomes important i for some reason jump constantly in dark souls not for any um, reason not but like like if i i'm s sprinting to get somewhere i'm just like well i might as well end the sprint with a little hop it. and roll maybe in a dream <laughs> and then die Unlucky. yeah exactly <laughs> Oh, you can set stick jumping in this game. I didn't know that. Okay. Hmm. Someone else played Graven. A place where <laughs> that was my that was my one Graven joke for the month. <laughs> I've used up my quota. This intro is like you it's will like lose eerie. everything. It is. I love this swamp. Yeah, it looks proper. The symbol awful. of the curse. An augur of darkness. How oh, good use of the word augur. Your past. Your, augur, your future. Yes. Your very light. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I love the, like, faces melting. None will have meaning, and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls. A hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. 
No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. this the decrepit gate of which the old crone spoke? Sure looks decrepit, and it sure looks like a gate. <laughs> that was a good intro. I I like the first game's intro a bit better just because of how like succinct it is with everything, but that was yeah. also a very good intro. Crone be like, your lighting engine will be cut before release. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, some of the lighting in this game is beautiful, and some of it is trash. <laughs> here we go. Here I am in here. Okay. Um, first thing, I think it's a bit loud, isn't it, on uh, you guys' end? So I'm gonna do game options, please. Game options. Ah, here we go. Um. Oh, I see. Um, uh, it's good. Um, I'll turn it down anyway. I saw it was... Uh, I want to make sure Dylan's audible, um, even, you know, even when things are, uh, loud. So. Okay. First thing. This, uh, resolution seems fine. I am at half health. Um. Yep. So I think the rule we're going to go with for, uh... The Dark Souls 2 stream is basically the same as the Dark Souls stream, where um, no help unless I specifically ask for help, um, and no warnings of horrible rage-inducing death traps unless uh, it would be funnier or more entertaining if I was forewarned, basically. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, you don't need to tell me twice on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on, I'm going to close my uh, shade... Why did I say shade? I don't have shades. I have curtains. I'm going to close my curtains. <clears throat> I've never even owned shades. Anyway, let's play this game. So this is exciting because for the uh, Dark Souls 1 stream, I had played a decent chunk of Dark Souls 1 before, but I have never touched this game. I I don't think I've even seen anyone play this game. Um... So this will be very much a blind playthrough. I only know a few things about it. I know there's a funny meme rat boss. Um, that's It's oh, yeah. just like the radic radicomes in boss form. Um, and I know, I know that people either love this game or hate this game. Which is a means there's a pretty darn good chance that I'm going to love this. 
Um, not a guarantee, but I would be very surprised if I don't end up enjoying this. What is that thing? Hmm. But the the nice thing is that there is no th there is no bad outcome here. If I end up absolutely hating this game, that's just going to be funnier for everyone watching. <laughs> so, oh, is the bit rate really bad? Need to up the bit rate. Hmm. Okay, let me take a look. Um, Are you streaming it through OBS? Yes. Uh, video bit rate is twenty five hundred. That's what should it be? I don't really know bit rates very well. Should be fine beyond this point. Yeah, because maybe it's. Uh, I'm doing ten eighty sixty. Six well, that would 000. be. Okay. I am not a furry, surprisingly. Um, I'll try 6,000. Hopefully that can update in real time. Also, I do not need to see the preview of my stream. Twitch hates the color green. It's... <clears throat> I thought it was the color red that, like, things hated. It, hit, it hates red, too. Yeah. Um, it just hates colors. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Let's go toward this obvious... Uh, forward path and then look around to see if there's a less obvious path. There's this right, no jumping so let's see so, okay, that's a jump board. Oh, okay, I see uh, David has yep. played through Dark Souls 1 and uh, Elden Ring yep um, and I love both of them I've only played through Elden Ring once, but it was a long playthrough um, Dark Souls after we do, oh wow this is like a cave, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so dark... <laughs> oh, the textures just arrived! <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I've actually gone back and played a bunch more Dark Souls, even after the, the stream. Why am I going this way? Um, I find that game really comforting. Uh, and, like, mostly right now I've just been, like, going to sort of comfort games. So they're, like, Dark Souls, Half-Life, um, stuff like that. Yeah, this game is really cozy too. Mm -hmm. the face of the curse. I haven't done Bloodborne because it's not on PC. It's That's the only reason. Dead. And I might just have to and get I'm it on PlayStation. To play. <laughs> Don't worry, they're gonna announce the PC port any day now. <sighs> I know. I keep holding out, thinking they'll finally just smarten up, <laughs> but uh, the problem is I don't own a PS4. Like, I don't have a reason to own a PS4 except Bloodborne. I have no interest in any other PlayStation exclusives except yeah, Bloodborne. My, my PlayStation is just like a, you play Bloodborne, mm -hmm. and that's it. Feast upon their souls. Um, yeah, I'm, I will play Sekiro at some point. Yeah, I like just a port would be name? fine. That's a good question. What should my name be? Ah, I see we don't have full controller support. Um let's see. Frank Reynolds. <laughs> Frank Reynolds. <laughs> so I started blast. I love the original Demon Souls. I uh I haven't played the remastered because I don't have a Is that, that that requires a PS5, right? I think, I think so. so. Uh, let's see. But I, I have a PlayStation 3, and that's what I played it on. Ah, uh, it won't fit. Okay. Let's see. We'll just go with Moog. Moog. <laughs> it's not like they ever use your name in this, right? Oh, yeah, you it's only really... This. Sure. It's only, it, like, if you invade someone or... Ah, uh, okay. You know. Well, kind of. Here's your reward for sharing. It's a human effigy. 
That looks very fragile. That looks like if you grip it a little bit too hard, it's gonna go away. Yeah, just think it's crushed. Be. Yeah. Think back, deep into your past. Yes, it's an effigy of you. Okay. Uh, let's see. So do we do uh do we do we do a, a thick lady what's what's her name um Moog yeah oh, no uh, no no the uh, meat eater um, oh meat e meat eater Mildred that's it yeah do we do did you see that art someone did where it's just like literally Ruben yes! is like the, yeah, <laughs> this is amazing <laughs> like this is a very specific audience for this and I am it lady Moog. Allow will ha held a message for misogyny? What the Because <laughs> someone said, I remember killing those ladies. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> don't don't kill those ladies. Oh, really? Anyway, yeah, so don't... should we should we do uh, Maneater Mildred? Are we, we're yeah. going to be bacon in this whole thing anyway, right? Physique. Uh. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, I didn't even I didn't even know there uh, was a funny. dung e there was a dung eater ending in Elden Ring. I, I feel bad that I didn't get the dung eater el ending. Oh yeah, and Automod held that one too. It's fun to kill these ladies. It's fine. It's not. Could do sexual what? <laughs> uh, advanced settings. What is this? Shape. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have I have no need to do all that. But there's no. Oh, here we go. Hair. I always, I always feel like in these sort of games, like if you're playing a woman, she has to have her hair tied back. Yeah. Like no one is, no one is gonna be doing like all these rolls and crazy stuff without hair tied back. This will do that. Gotta, gotta go brunette. Eh, close enough. Okay. There we go. There is Moog. No, done. How do I say done? Uh, uh, A. Yeah, that's what I'm pressing, and then it's like. Class and get go back to class and gift. Uh, finalize creation. Oh right, I need um this stuff. Okay. Now, this is where we get a little, uh, things get a bit funky. So this does have power stancing, right? Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. What just... do you? What do you? What kind of weapons are you thinking of? I always default to great swords in Souls so far. Um, and I know uh, that's the one thing I do know about this game is to actually do the whole like great sword and dodge rolling thing. I'm going to have to actually level ADP or whatever it's called. Um, power um, and twin blades will thank you. Yeah, luckily. Uh, the ADP thing won't be a, a huge deal. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'd probably say either warrior or bandit is usually a pretty good. Um, it's bandit, high dexterity, skilled with bow. Okay, um, that's a goofy uh, helmet. And then warrior yeah, is just, uh, yeah, that's that's the the basic class, right? And bandit is like swords and bows. Yeah, it's they're good picks um, if you're gonna go just pure melee because they have low stats and uh, uh, intellect and faith, uh, mm -hmm. which you're not gonna need that much. Like he's only got like one in faith. Um, yeah, I'm probably I did do a little bit of a uh, spell sword playthrough in Dark Souls One. Um, if you want to try some of the magic out, um, you can yeah I, you can try like warrior and then picking a couple spells. Yeah, uh, maybe. I've... What's Explorer? Many items. Okay. Um, I, de I want to be able to use swords, but I think it would also be useful to have bows, um, just because I know how you can cheese stuff at range in the first game. I don't know if that's po as possible here, but... Um... Yes, and, and, and in fact, I was going to say that this is, this is probably uh, the Dark Souls that has the most important reliance on having a bow. Okay, banded it is then. Um, even though it starts with an axe, I'm not shut out of swords for any reason, right? Correct. 
Okay. Because right. yes. I am a sword man through and through. I think swords are awesome. I don't see why you would use a weapon other than swords. Um, so I will be using swords as soon as possible, probably. Okay, no gift. Life ring increases HP slightly. Returns the hollowed to life. Is, is that like a one-time use thing? Uh, yes. Okay, I see. That is that is like humanity from Dark Souls 1. Gotcha, okay. So much cheese you can do with the bow. Uh, excellent. I consider... not. I mean, Dylan is the Souls expert here. I have only played Dark Souls and Elden Ring. But I consider the presence of cheese to be a deliberate and very uh, enjoyable design decision in these games. In fact, I would say that there's parts of this game where they designed it where you <laughs> need to need to bow it. Gotcha. If you oh, interesting. don't want to have a bad time. Yeah, Bonf we, we will get into we will get into bonfire aesthetics. It's a, a a mechanic that they only did in this game and they never did it again, but mm -hmm. it is a very fascinating mechanic. Okay, I aren't there a bunch of those in this? <laughs> it's like Yes. Uh, various items that no, nah, I don't really need that. Um, I'd kind of be tempted to go with the life ring just to have a ring to wear at the start, but um, so that's basically just giving me one humanity. This gives me some healing items. Uh, that gives me yeah. a single homeward bone. That seems useless. This I assume is a quest item of some sort, right? It is not. Um, oh, so uh. Seed of a Tree of Giants is uh, an item you can use mm -hmm. when you get invaded. Uh, using a Seed of a Tree of Giants will make enemies in your game world also target the invader. Oh, interesting. Yes. Um, but that's something uh, I can get otherwise. Like, I can get yes, out of their correct. places. Yes, um, this, this is a quest item, right? I believe you give that to uh, the nest... Um, Rows, and they'll give you something in return for it. Okay. Is this also is this something that uh, that you can find in the world? Yes. Yes. Okay. Pretty much all of these are. Uh, let me quickly look up. Does anyone remember what petrified something gets traded for? I assume it's something incredible or trash. It's a lottery ticket. Okay. Is it's that a water a, ticket? Okay. Is that a one-time use thing, or do you find those in the world too? For a random high tier item. They're rare. Okay. Hmm. It's like eight of them. Okay, so there's really not a necessarily a wrong choice here in that. Let's do um. Let's do petrified something because lottery tickets are funny. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, petrified something, and I think we are good to go. All people come here for the same reason. To break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Hmm, doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. I like how the game just starts and these like old ladies just riff on you for like, Yeah, they're just like, wow, minutes. you suck. You don't even look how much you suck. Through the door and trot along to the kingdom. Okay, what is the trot button? Hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. I mean, real. I mean, yeah, you're you're not wrong. So playing Dark... Yeah, like I said, I was doing a spell sword run just for a little bit. And I got to the, uh, the depths. And I was like, I know not to... You know, not to underestimate the torch hollows. I should do okay now, and then nope. Yep, <laughs> and they, they're they're like dash forward attack. It's, it's so rude. It's so rude. <laughs> she does have a lot of teeth for her age. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they're literally telling you you're gonna die a lot. Why is 
Hold on one sec. Why is this... Uh, this stupid auto mod is like, ah, someone said the word fuck. We won't allow that. Like, I don't care. <laughs> Why is this even on? I need to add permitted terms. I added fuckers to permitted terms, apparently. Okay. Anyway, let's let's get on with the game. Uh, the textures, uh, there they are. There are the textures. They have now arrived. Oh, I start out with armor. Oh wait, that was the case in the first one also. Oh, torch, right? There's like, there's usable torches yeah, we, in this. We, we will get into the torches shortly. Okay. Okay, do we still have... Yes, we do. Um... And you can two-hand it with Y, of course. Okay, usual, good. Oh, isn't there something people hate about the movement in this? Yeah, it's just different. It's a bit, it's, it's maybe a bit more amateurish, I think. Let me see that. Oh, is it the rolling? Maybe that's what I'm thinking of, where it's like eight directional rolling or something. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's, I get, that's getting, that's a little getting used to, like, the free rolling in later games. But you also had to get used to the four rolling in a, the first game. Oh, that's only four rolling? Okay. <laughs> then, then wait, why do people complain about that? It's better than the first game. If it's eight directional instead of four directional, right? It might, it might. Is Dark Souls 1 eight, four or eight? I think, I thought it was four. Yeah, it's four. This seems fine. Yeah, bonfire lit. All right, here, travel. Ah, uh, yeah. yes, of course we're gonna have the fast travel. I do know that that's just gonna be present. Yep, forever. Burn. Yeah, so uh, that's when we'll get into bonfire aesthetics, but we won't. Okay. It's it's not really worth doing that now. It's four one rolling, but oh, okay. So all movement is eight direction. What's the misinformation in chat? Oh well, anyway. Um, do we still have... Yes! Havoc, physics, destruction. A torch, alright. Um, can I destroy this? Doesn't look like it. Ah, I'm stuck this. Bonfires are places of respite. Yep. You may also light torches on them. Interesting. Yeah, so, um, open up okay. your in, uh, inventory or the uh -huh. equipment screen. You see the timer there? Yeah. So anytime you oh. pick up a torch, it's not like a physical item. It oh, adds time okay. to your torch time. So when I rest here, do I... Uh, how do I uh, get so, a torch out? Then? So, um, you stand up and then press Y at the, uh, bonfire. At the bonfire? Why? Really? Is it why? Yes, there it toggle. is. Toggle. I see. All right. So now that your oh. torch is lit, the timer uh, starts to go down. Oh, this is this is cool. How do I put it out then? Just why? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That's pretty cool. Um. Let's see. What is your deal? You're not old. This is a limbo. Okay. A link between Drangle. And the outer world. Fair traveler, I know that you must have a story. Not yet. Why else would you visit such a place? Pain, mostly. This loss Masochism. Decayed. Masochism. Oh my gosh, it is, it is never not funny to me how uh, Miyazaki is like, Oh man, I love dying, it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> like, <It's> a <laughs> I, I design everything painfully for me. Yeah, it's like, oh, that's what I want. It's gratifying. It's like, dude. I mean, oh no, will it not? I can't roll through the table. Aw, that's sad. Oh well. Lady Moog. Okay, so we have a bonfire out here. 
I'm already getting lost. Um, they Good. Mentioned, yeah. Good. Is there a way to up the FOV? I'm assuming not. I didn't. We see can't it. even. We can't even up the FOV in most like first-person shooters. Yeah. <laughs> we we ain't upping the FOV here. I was complaining about this um somewhere else. I don't remember, but like. So the fact that everyone is really, um, go out and hit the rats, well, yeah, true. The fact that everyone is really, really, like, concerned about accessibility features now is cool, but it's really dumb that you'll have developers putting in all of these accessibility features and then not having an FOV slider. Yeah. Which is like, like, there are a lot of people who have problems with low FOV. Yeah. A lot. Like, it's, like... I'm not gonna say it's more than people who are, like, colorblind or something like that, because I don't know, but I know it's very common, and that's, like, one of the most basic options you can have for, like, motion sickness or headaches or, you know, just general user comfort. And there's still a lot of developers that don't do it. Yeah, I am one of them also. I'm okay in third-person games... Um, first person low FOV gets real rough for me, though. I, th I think a lot of it has to do with, um, FOV is simultaneously a accessibility option and also a performance option. Yeah. Where, uh, with higher FOVs, you have to render more space, uh, or it has to be rendered in a different way. Yeah. The newer Resident Evil games are really bad about that. Um, yeah. Because, I mean, it's really cool that they have all the different features that they do for, like... Um, I don't remember what they all are. But, like, like um, yeah, accessibility stuff. But then, no FOV. It's like, that's an uh, accessibility option, guys. Yeah. Uh, do, are you talking about Dusk Bloodshot? Because Dusk does have a, a clamp. Um, a view clamp on the, the flipping. Oh, these are, these are tracks of something. <laughs> um, so let's, let's heal up. Different healing item. Oh, it's, uh, slow recovery too. Very slow. Isn't this glowing? Never mind. <laughs> okay. Crack gems. Yeah, are those a... I thought they were glowing, but maybe... They're not. This no, is it's just the light. Okay. Illusionary path ahead. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, just gonna. Mm hmm. Just gonna do that. On your way, sir. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, this just takes me back there, though. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I should be two handing the axe. It's an item, huh? Do we have backstabs? Well, not for him <laughs> <does>. at least. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> okay, alright, fair enough. Oh no! No! <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Alright, first and death of the- death number one! Oh, we should have a- I forgot, we were gonna have a death counter. Hmm. Hold on, do we have... Is there an easy way to, like, um... Like, some online... Uh... Death counter... Is there, like, some online thing I can... No? No, not World Death Clock. Game assist... No. No, I'm not gonna download something. Oh, well. Um... Yeah, yeah, okay, just for now, you guys just keep count. 
that's probably we'll probably forget at some point. But oh yeah, life gems do not regenerate. Correct. Hmm. Oops. Um, I do capture with OBS. Uh, what do you? How would I use that? Oh, there's a way to check total deaths. Player info. Player status. Not in the menus. It's later. Okay. How do you like your new Shrek skin? Oh, I am Shrek. So I won't be bacon, but I will be Shrek. Okay. You will be. You will be the soggy green Shrek, rotten piece of meat. Ah, uh, bummer. In the hub wall offline. Okay. Are those rat man things? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Was this the way I wanted to go? Are you trying to head back to the the hippopotamus? Yeah, I think that creature? was back in here, wasn't it? That was like over here. Yes. Here we go. After five deaths, I'll notice something. Okay, great. Let's see if there's any other. Well, there's my souls. Oh, they're in a really unfortunate spot. Is that progress or is that just an item? Is the question. Oh, hello. Okay. Okay, doing okay. And he does a roll. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> I can feel the stun lock beginning. <laughs> oh, that's ah. so, that's so dirty. Oh, it was close. Uh. Um, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. Just piss on the chair, mate. Yeah, anytime someone's like, tell us cheats facts, all I can think of is that is Hatsu constantly brings up like, oh, you know, that really gross like maggot cheese that people eat in like Spain or somewhere. I'm like, no, I don't want to hear about the maggot cheese. Oh, it's France. Okay, yeah, of course it's France. Yep, there it is. Keisu Marzu. It's not France? Okay, where where is it? I'm not looking it up. I don't wanna I don't wanna Okay, Sardina. Sardinia? Italy. Okay. I refuse to look it up. No, don't say that. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Oh, nope, not mouse. Controller. Um. Hmm. My health is a bit lower than it used to be, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that could um, start to get a bit dicey. <laughs> here's the thing: um, every time you die, you lose some of your maximum health. Ah, and and healing items do not regenerate. At least these ones yeah, don't. 
These ones do not. Interesting. I am going to have to make extra sure not to die. <laughs> Which is going to be a bit of a problem, considering it's really easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna just look around a bit. Where are the textures? Hello, textures. That's come here. Yeah, that's come on, textures. Let's go. There they yeah, are. There All they right. Are. <laughs> ten percent. I I don't. I think it's five percent because he's died twice. That looks like ten percent to me. Yeah. Um. So. Okay, there's run. I'm just gonna look over here again. I did I go through here? I think yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just back here. Okay. Um, now, is there something I missed here? Doesn't really look like it. Texture thing never happened. Hmm. I think this is on my SSD, so I'm just gonna avoid those guys. That's where I began. Take a look around here just to make sure. Um, Cause it doesn't look, t it's hard for me to tell, but it doesn't quite look like um, that guy is blocking progress, but he might be. So just gonna make yeah, sure just, I can't find any progress back this way. Just tell me when, if you need like a little bit of direction. Yeah, yeah, wanna, definitely. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, hinder your exploration. Yeah, I'll I'll let you know when I want actual like tell me where to go. <laughs> Dying is very bad in this game. Yeah, what so that's... lack of yellow paint does to a game. <laughs> no! No! That's the thing, though. I like this. And I think that's part of the problem is that... Surely I'm not alone in, like... Being like, okay, I, I like a little bit of... Let's stop and search around here and figure out where to go next. Yeah, like, it only that's... gets annoying when it's after, like... 45 minutes and then the path was like stupid and hidden or something and even yeah. there half the time it's not annoying if it's a souls game you're just like oh miyazaki you nerdy asian bastard <laughs> like, you nerdy asian ba miyazaki i i love like i have no idea what miyazaki is actually like as a person but i love the meme of him just being this like this goofy little man who just is just like hurt me more video game mommy and is like yeah. trying to spread the joy of of masochism to everyone else. I, I love I love that whenever someone dies like a bullshit death at any of these games, it's it is just directly like raising, his fault. Yeah, it's Dur raising your fist and being like, Miyazaki! Yeah. It, he is solely <laughs> responsible for those designs. Yeah, I love it too. Add more poison swamps and feed, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he's not a sadist. That's the thing. He's a masochist. He is the yeah, opposite. He said he's a masochist. He loves, like, he gets excited for himself about, like, all the pain he's adding to yeah. the game. Walk down in here? Yeah, I can. Okay. Let's look at the water shader. Looks like a, a pretty typical, uh, yeah. what is that? A sine wave displacement sort of deal? Yeah. That's cool. I love looking at water shaders in games. My wife gets so mad when we're playing, like when I'm playing anything and like she and the the, the kids are watching, and I'm just like, mmm, look, yeah, you're there's just going all all game dev mode. Yeah. Oh, my new favorite thing, uh, Dylan. Have you played Counter Strike Two? Uh, I I I like booted it up and like just kind of oogled that like the maps and yeah stuff exactly kind of... that's i mean that's all you really need i, I like counter-strike but at the very least yeah you gotta boot it up and just look at it and be amazed um yeah, first of all gorgeous. best indirect like lighting i've ever seen in anything i know it's baked yeah. but like it's so good the indirect it's lighting so is so good and the other thing is that <clears throat> i was going through it and being like how on earth are, does it have reflections this good? Like, these are, like, like straight up, like, they look like an RTX demo level of, like, reflections. And, oh, that, ooh, that didn't work at all. Oh, dear. Ooh, let's get that. Oh. Um, and so I looked it up, and it's, um, yeah, there's a death. 
uh, parallax... Uh, what are they called? Parallax corrected cube maps. So, they're literally just cube maps, but they adjust them based on where you're viewing from. Um, so when you see them sort of, like, distorted a little bit or a little bit blurry or things like that, they look literally, like, no different from ray traced reflections. They look super good. If you see them really clearly, you can see that, like, the image is getting kind of warped and stuff. Um, but they're so cool! And I was yeah. like, why... Why are more games not using... They look so much better than screen space reflections. Like, night and day. They look phenomenal. And I'm just like, why are more games not using these? Like, these are great. They're just cube maps, which have always been great. But they're better yeah. cube maps. <laughs> Valve has always been really good at, like, refining uh, simplistic procedures into really, like, fancy ones. Yeah, it's like, just... All, that's all the their yeah, all go the, like planar, planar water stuff is even if it's like more expensive than screen space, it's mm -hmm. it's gorgeous. It just like looks Half -Life great. Half Life Two, Half Life Two's yeah. water looks amazing. Yeah, so. and that's the crazy thing about these is that you could I'm like you they use them for water and they're not planar, so you can put the like you can you can have the reflections anywhere, not just on the water plane, and they look basically as good as planar water reflections. And all of this is just a cube map, and you use math to adjust it a little bit. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy, and that's the thing that's um sort like when you that when you play CS two and just go through and look at the stuff. It's like there's some PBR materials, but they're used really like the PBR effects are used really sparingly. Um. And there's indirect lighting, but it's literally just baked indirect lighting, again, like we've done for decades at this point. Um, and there's really good reflections, but they're basically just better cube maps. Um, and, like, it's all... Oh, okay, that is not progress. All right, all right, back we go! <laughs> um, it's all these really basic, really solid tools that, like... Uh, okay, yeah. Is he coming after me? Um, and th that's the thing, is that if you have good baked lighting, and you have, like, good textures, like good, just albedo textures, um, you can make your game look phenomenal. Like, like just those really basic tools, and I love it. Um, uh, this is so dicey! Okay, there we go. Small, smooth, and silky stone. Oh. So that's going to get me back here. Oh. Oh, interesting. Little hidden tunnel. Oh, okay. You got to give those to the... What, what did I do? Dark to... Yeah. Yeah, I feel... I know I, I talk about Valve a lot positively and I feel like people there is a certain amount to like like Half-Life and um, Counter-Strike and stuff are so uh, nostalgic to me that I am a bit of a Valve simp but I feel like people also maybe get the impression that I'm like a super Valve simp and think they can do no wrong which is definitely not the case it's just that they do a lot of stuff that's more toward right than pretty much any other big company with that much power. Doesn't mean they're good, it just means they're less bad, if that makes sense. Um, okay, let's think here. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with that dude again, for now. Um, gonna look up here a little bit more. Don't really see anything. Um, they, they mentioned going through a door, didn't they? Which I believe was not that door. This door. Right. Which is where I found the campfire. Yeah, I'm... And... Oh, is that a passage? Oh, it, it is totally a passage. Okay, that's... I didn't look around enough. It's my fault. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that, yeah, that's the thing with, like, Steam is, like, would I prefer there to be... Good, oh. We have a child. Hi, child. What's up? Hi. What's up? You want to be with me? Well, I'm streaming right now, sweetie. But I promise I'll be quiet. 
Okay, you're gonna have to be quiet though, because I'm streaming to people, okay? Oh, that's a new microphone, so that people can hear me. And, um, my daughter just came in. <laughs> uh, apparently they're back from shopping. <coughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, I would prefer for sure if there was like multiple marketplaces that were worth a damn. Um, but if we have to have one marketplace that has a monopoly, it's like, eh, this isn't, this isn't a bad state of affairs. Could it be better? Absolutely. So these, uh, these little pillars... Those are um, for torches, right? Yeah, you can light them. If you, if you go back to the first pillar uh -huh. that was on fire... Uh-huh. Oh, I you see. Can light, you yeah. can light your torch, and then you can, uh, you can light, uh, the ones that aren't lit. Okay. And then if you run out of torch, or uh, if, you, if you, like, douse your torch, you can use those to sort of light. They're kind of like torch checkpoints. Yeah, okay. Um, does my this torch... This will be useful amount? later. Yeah, does my... <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, is the, the amount of light I have, that's dependent on, like... That's, like, torch health, right? Yeah, the, the the time it's basically like if you think of it like a battery. Uh huh. But it won't recharge, right? It will not recharge. Okay, so you, I you have to hell you will have to find more torch stuff. Okay, so I should probably douse this after I light all of these, which someone in chat told me to do, and I assume it's gonna do something bad. Um, oh, there's more up there. Oh, jeez. Bye, sweetie. <clears throat> what? Okay. Bye, I'll see you later. Um, <clears throat> that's Luna. That's our four-year-old who is already a goth child. Um, a goth child? She is. Yeah, she is. Uh, she fell in love with spooky stuff. So we showed yes. her... Uh, yeah, she, she just loves spooky... So we showed her the, night, uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, and... Oh, what you know? I never checked what equipment I have. Um, I do have a bow. Um, okay, good to know. Um, can I light my arrows? No. Okay. Um, so she became obsessed with Nightmare Before Christmas, and now she's she's just like, she's so sad that Halloween is over because yeah, she's same. like, where is all the spooky stuff? <laughs> like, well, people don't usually put it out unless it's Halloween. <laughs> it's very cute. Make her watch the Beetlejuice cartoon. Get her on American McGee's Alice. Yes. Yeah. Statue blocks my way. Okay. Yeah, well, all right. All right, statue, you win this one. So I've got a multitude of different paths I could choose from here. I think, at least. Uh, there are ones that could be boss encounters. Or could not be boss encounters. There's... Scary dark tunnel. Hmm. How scary goes... dark tunnel. Ah, uh, screw it. Let's do the scary dark. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that right now. I. This is why I feel so bad for um, for people who think that they need to turn off the multiplayer in Souls games. It's like, but the messages though, like those yeah, the are messages are super funny. <laughs> not only are they funny and like, but like half half the time they're super helpful in warning you about stuff, and sometimes super unhelpful. I don't know. I just I think they're a brilliant addition. Um, oh, is that a? There's some dudes there. Wield. Yeah, yeah, we got that. Or conversely. Try doing this. Okay, they're not too tough. I'll take this one out and. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, he's not too bad at all. Good. <clears throat> yeah, they. I. There's a, so many different reasons that I think the. So when it comes to tor like I would I would like to go back and light my torch to continue down here or is that something where it's like 
I'm gonna screw myself because I've run no. out of torch. Uh, nah. Okay. It's not the end of the world if you run out of torch here. Okay. Listen. Reeks of fatty youth. <laughs> also, I love that they added torches. This is cool. Yeah, this is a mechanic that everyone hated uh, from this game, but I actually kind of like. Why did they hate it? Oh no, that was- <laughs> I was like, why do I need to jump? I don't see anywhere to jump. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to douse your torch. Yep. <laughs> Oh man, uh, let's see to it. Well, I don't know. I don't need to light my torch. It's weird to me that it isn't an item. Yeah, like, look, like I said, it's a bit confusing at first. Okay, wait. We have inventory. Um. Oh, I see. Okay, there's no browse and use item anymore. Yeah, they don't even have it in your inventory. Correct. Huh. It's it's not technically like an item. I'm just looking at what these all are. Oh, this gives you luck. Or at least it says it gives you luck. Yes, which is uh, basically like Discovery uh, in Elden Ring. Oh, temporarily boost luck. I see. Lightning. <clears throat> Good old Dark Sign. Helium. Majiggy. Reverse Hollowing. Soul. Um, Banished Phantom. I don't have the Gold Soapstone, though. Not yet. Stores the link to I don't know what that is. Okay. Seems like we're all wait, what was that menu? Oh, oh, key bindings. Okay. Messages. No. <laughs> anyway. And yeah, so torch uh any sconces uh remain lit, even if you die. Okay, perfect. Inter so many people have said it's like it's really interesting and experimental and that's why I'm like there is like very there is a very small ch uh, what am I trying to say there's almost no chance I'm not going to like this in some way because I always like it when games do weird stuff yeah um, it, there's a lot of weird ideas in this one yeah and also I don't really get frustrated by Souls difficulty to be honest um like, I don't know. It doesn't get to me. This might. I know people say this one's, like, especially frustrating, but... I don't... I, I have never raged once in either Dark Souls or Elden Ring. I don't think. Over, you know, <laughs> hundreds of hours. Is it, is it the, uh, the, the tweet you made uh, when you were fighting Margit and it was like, Margaret uses the uh, technique formerly known as bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, was, that wasn't that was really raging. That was more like, that this would funny. be a funny tweet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that, oh man, I died to Margaret so many times. So, so many times. Like, remember, remember yeah. you, like, I think the time you killed Margaret, you then, like, I fell, fell off the right, edge. Uh, fell off the edge just, like, I, a second after. I had to laugh at it. It was just, it was funny. It was so good. Oh, my torch doesn't douse. Okay, good. Now we have a torch checkpoint. That's that's a really cute mechanic. I yeah, like that a lot. I, I like it a lot. Guard break. Oh, it's just okay. the uh, kick. Oh, it's not a kick anymore. Yeah. Okay. It's specifically for breaking shields. Plunging attack, my beloved. And I need a shield to parry, which I don't believe I have. Do I? No. No. Oh, my torch stones. Now. Okay, but that's you can, fine. You can, re you can relight the torch at that sconce if you want. Yeah, I... F mm. Or you can save the time. Can I hit them with my torch? Uh... Like... Try pressing uh, LT? I... Uh, no, it just guards just... with it. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. There I wonder if go. that'll do fire damage. Or something like that. <laughs> Get wrecked. Let's try it. Um, oh yes, it does fire damage. A little bit of damage over time, it looks like. That's yeah. cute. Um, I don't know if that's really useful in this case, though. Oh, yeah. That was dumb. There we go. Uh, hmm. Left. Wait, what? 
Hold on, hold on. Uh, so, yeah, push the, um... Like that, no? Mm. Hmm, do I have to jump first? Look at the controls again. Sure. The, the, look at the, um, the tombstone. Oh, right, 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 right. Um... Okay, so oh, it's, it's like all of them. Forward. No, oh, it's, uh, that's not saying. Okay, or wait, no, is it, it saying? It's, click? it's the same as in. Uh, as in oh, Dark I see. Uh, okay, yeah, I thought it was saying click the stick for like. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot to announce the stream on my Discord. Oh well. Oh Maybe yeah. Next time. Maybe I should do that. What time is it? I have like an hour and a half left. I do have to leave to pick up my other daughter from school at 2.30. Um, so that will be the de facto stream end. Um, okay. I think I'm... Oh no! It's one of those already! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, this one there too. Okay. Um, was that blocked by a statue? It was. That was blocked by a statue. Yep. Oh sure. Uh, grandma, my, 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 yeah, yeah, sure. If you do a at here, are you, do you have access to the announcement channel or the stream announcement channel? If you do, yeah, just do a do a at here and link to the stream. Um. Uh, let's see. So there's a statue. Let me just look back in here a little bit. You do not... Okay, I'll do it real quick. Real quick. Won't take any time at all. Um, probably. God, that part in Elden Ring where you're fighting those things, like, on the islands in the Scarlet Rot Lake is so mean. <laughs> it's like, oh cool, I'm getting death blighted and Scarlet Rotted at the same time, and I can only move, like, three feet in either direction. That's so I just love. I, I just love how mean these games get. They're just like, there, there's something about it that feels so cheeky and just like, like this is such an asshole move, and I love it because I know mm -hmm. the devs are cackling yeah. when they're making this. I think that's why I can't be too mad at it, because like I know that that's the intent is for it to be evil. <laughs> um, okay, so that. Plunge down here. This was jumping attack, right? Um, just that, and then. Uh, so the reason this. why, Phantomini. Um, so I have a spell sword now, which is like cool. I can use that spell. It's awesome. Um, but my Unga Bunga character does not have twelve faith, and even if he did, he could probably cast that spell like three times because he has like <laughs> eight mind. Um, okay. and it takes some time to cast it as well. Like if you're in combat, it's a bit bit more of a challenge. But on my spell sword, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> the Scarlet Rot, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's. I don't think I can jump over this, can I? Uh, no. Doesn't seem like it. There was another fog wall uh, closer to the bonfire that you walked past. Was there? Yeah. Okay. Huh? Just looking around here. Oh, what is... That appears to be a Boat. A Boat. A Boat. There's something actually that uh, Ali brought up when she was watching me play this game that I thought was kind of interesting. And uh, oh. I guess it's a sub-theme of this game, but there's a lot of, like, half-animal, half-human kind of hybrids in this game. <laughs> like, you'll you'll oh. see, like... You'll see, uh, <laughs> they're furries! Um, <laughs> you'll, you'll see a lot of, like, creatures that are, like, this is, like, a lion mixed with, a, a like, a humanoid lion, or a humanoid uh, hippopotamus, or a humanoid elephant. And it's just, mm. it's, it's interesting in a way that I don't, I don't think is as prevalent in the other games. Right. Yeah. It's also very, uh, just gonna, it's also very Gloomwood. <laughs> yeah. Yep, 
yep, yep. We know this, we know this, we know this, we know. Um, let's light that up. <clears throat> Bring forth the light. You have 15 seconds. <laughs> oh, wow. Where, where do I see that? Oh, it's right there. I see. Do, 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 do. Ah! There we go. There might be another torch in this area. We'll see. Yeah. Okay, guy in chat who said they'd be very impressed if I ran out of torch. Be very impressed. Yep. We've done it. <laughs> we have run out of torch. Ah! Oh, man! <laughs> tree! Foiled by the tree! Oh, that, okay. Let's try that again. There we go. So, something that's kind of uh, weird, and I think this is a... I actually can't remember if this is a mechanic in, in the first Dark Souls. It might mm -hmm. be. Um, so, there's a thing called counter damage. Uh, mm -hmm. And for sure, it's a thing in Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring. But um, if you attack an enemy while they're in the middle... Oh, okay, yeah, is that is it? in Dark Souls 1. Yeah, okay, when you yeah, attack them cool. at, like... Specific, right as their attack does damage or something like that? Yeah, right when... <clears throat> if they're in the middle of an enemy attack, uh, you'll mm -hmm. do counter damage. Um, and some weapons do more counter damage than other weapons, but earlier on, you hit a dude... And you we pretty much like one shot him because he was in the middle of an attack. Mm. So that's just something to keep in mind that uh, uh, if you do hit an enemy while they're in the middle of their, you can do a ton of extra damage. Okay, I have um, I have never gotten that to work in uh, in Dark Souls One. Yeah, I think this game is a little more noticeable with it. Okay. Um. Because you just there, there are times where it's like, whoa, I got hit for a ton of damage, or I hit someone for a ton of damage. Gotcha. I'll pay, try and pay attention and do that. Yeah, thrust weapons like rapiers and spears are, are really good with that, especially if you've got the uh, the um, old Leo ring. Yeah. Switch equipped weapon. Okay, so this was the intended tutorial path. Yeah. <clears throat> Or one of the intended tutorial paths. It's interesting that they split them up. I never use backstep. I should. You do get like a special running attack when you do it. Oh yeah. Uh, misjudged the range again, huh? Oh, oh, oh! Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna pop another life gem. Remember the discourse around uh, when Elden Ring came out? There, everyone Which was one? like, <laughs> "Yeah, there's a lot of discourse." But remember specifically about how people kept missing the tutorial tunnel? Oh the tutorial yeah, tutorial hole. I actually they, missed they the tutorial hole too. Yeah, they and they Ooh, had they nice added a prompt to make sure you didn't <laughs> miss it. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so I'm so happy to be done with Twitter discourse. It's so yeah. exhausting. The hole needed uh, yellow paint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had boss yet? No. No, no boss yet. Move camera. Okay. Seems a little late to do the move camera one. It sure does. Hey, a void nest. I can't curl up in a ball? Sad. Oh. I believe I have some of that I can give you. How doth I do that? So open your inventory. Oops. Uh, sorry, yeah, the inventory. And then drop smooth and silky stone. Uh, oh, I see. Make sure you discard? Make sure no, 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 don't Leave. discard it. Leave it. <laughs> Did you leave it. items in the first game? I don't remember yeah. that. You could? I guess I've just never done it. That voice! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now I can't remember if they've already traded it or you need to go to a bonfire and reset it. I 
Um, with that one in the first game, I think you had to reset it, right? Okay. Ah! Oh. What? Yeah, you you can let go of ladders now. But how do I slide? Hold on. How do how do you slide? Down the ladder. Uh, I think you hold B. Don't do it again. Cause go pick up the silky thing. Oh, there we before go. you try it. Yeah, before you try it again and kill yeah. yourself. I'll go uh, rest at the bonfire. So people are saying you don't need to uh, rest at the bonfire to pick it up. No. No. Okay. Yeah. Just, uh, oh, in fact. Oh. In fact. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm done. I'm. I'm stopping. <laughs> Everyone's freaking out. Oh, do do the items despawn? Go get it. Ah, okay, items do. I despawn. see the problem, but then hmm. reboot your. <laughs> Oof. Okay. That sucks. Oh wait, so that was something different. Yes. Bolt you got stone. a bolt stone. Where is that? Is this no. Did I go past it? That may be in what? materials somewhere. How is it that they made this materials? Wait, what? Wait, where is it? Oh, it's a key item? What on earth? Okay, oh. there it is. Abuse what So that this is gonna be when we get to it like infusion. Oh, so those are just like the embers? They're kind um kind of? They will, yeah. So basically, when you'll be able to use that to infuse a weapon, with lightning. Okay, so like, yeah. All right, that makes sense. Okay, so if you press down and hold B, then you slide. Um, I have more trading items. Oh, the petri petrified something. Oh, that's the the lo the, the, lo the lottery item. That's to them that I traded. Okay. Yeah. That voice is so funny because it is just such. Oh, there's something there. I should drop down and get that. It's just such. It's it's just not a like proper sounding voice. You know what I mean? It's like it's like a guy doing a high pitched voice. <laughs> um, that would be pleasant touch. Leaf. Leaves. See what I mean? It's just yeah. Okay, so now I pick it up. Yeah. Twinkling Titan. Oh, good deal. Okay, so there. Yeah. Um, it's not. Qu is is the uh the the thingy the like lightning brock that I got? It's not like the ember where it just unlocks that ability for. No. Okay. So it's like a both... consumable. Right. Uh... Yeah, yeah, it, you, it's it's a consumable that you'll need to use to put lightning on something. Okay. So, okay. Light sconces with a torch. Well, I have bad news. Uh, yeah, we've got bad news <coughs> about that. Uh, we can't. Yep. Um, I guess I might as well go try leveling up, huh? Wait, can I still do that at the bonfire, or is it different now? We will find out. Uh, nope, can't level up at the bonfire. Okay. Correct. Never mind then. Rip torch. <laughs> Did they nerf I still lightning? like. I can't remember if. Maybe yeah, I can't remember how lightning is in this game. I do, I do love that in Elden Ring. If it's raining, your lightning does like more damage. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, and if it's raining, your fire does less damage. <laughs> Okay, so that statue is still there. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna. So that's the evil dark tunnel. Um, which evil I assume is going to kill me based on all of the blood. Let's go look again. So there's a bunch of... Oh, they're not here. Yeah, there they are. So since they're not all at the same place... <laughs> since they're not all at the same place... Um, my guess is that it's a... 
It's a threat you can fight. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what this bloodstone does. Why is he just hanging out? Wait, same thing? This is gonna go very poorly. Weakness lightning, okay. All the cool kids do it. Okay. Yeah, th this is so dire. Jeez. This is so dire. All right. Um, let's prepare. The uh, something said its weakness was lightning. So. Hmm. See if we can. Oops. It's fighting something in the. Whoa! Whoa! What the heck? Yeah, sometimes if blood stains are close enough, you can see all of them. Okay. Let's see. They're. F Why are they fighting something over there? So maybe it's small? Hurrah for blood stain. Then hurrah for. Yeah, that's not helpful. Eh, okay, who knows what's going on. <laughs> he lacks critical information. <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, okay, and they're everywhere in here! Giant but oh, oh, Okay. Alright, let's just get this over with. Wait, was there nothing? Was it nothing? <laughs> what?! <laughs> So, <laughs> all those people were using katanas to kill themselves, uh, to make people afraid that that tunnel was gonna really gonna happen. Oh, that's amazing! Really? Yes. Welcome to Dark Souls. That's the amazing. Said, the that thing you said, where yeah, the messages are really helpful. Uh huh. Not not in this game. People fuck with each other all the time. That's this I. Is, this I is love one, that. One of them. So that's what's happening. Okay. <laughs> I love that. That's so good. <laughs> well, I mean, that is the other thing I love about the messages, is that sometimes they're extremely helpful, and sometimes they're extremely not helpful, and yeah. you just have to, like, use your own critical thinking and judgment to figure it out, which is which is really cool. Okay. <laughs> And this is, um, this is the, uh, the hub that everyone says is, uh, like, the best hub area in the series, right? Yep, this is Majula. Majula. Okay. Alright. So let's see, what is, so I can travel to things between... Oh, and then there's, like, sub-areas, I guess? Yeah. Okay. There'll be, uh, sub-bonfires. Once again, the use of depth of field is super good. This is the one game I can think of where not only do I want to leave depth of field on, but I think the depth of field actually improves the aesthetic greatly. Yeah, they, they use it to great effect in these games because it's like it makes everything seem larger than it is. Yeah, yeah. And it gives this like surreal feel to everything. What the heck? Yeah, no, they so yeah, they just agreed to do it again. That's so good. Just, just help me open this door. Okay. I packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. But now somebody's gone and locked the door. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. It's locked. Fair enough. It's locked. Locked. Jammed. Won't budge. Locked. <laughs> you remember undying. Uh, yeah. It was just like, jammed, locked, won't budge. Don't <laughs> need a key. <laughs> cool. 
So, now the question comes to mind, how do I get my health back? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's just hoover up all of this all of this stuff. Life gem, good. Good. I don't think we're going to try that. Yeah, just Majul would be like, Honey, why is there a giant hole to the to the underworld in the middle of the room? <laughs> yeah. So are these people killing themselves also? That looks like an actual fight. What? Efficient? Sorry, I... Please do have a look at my wares. Okay. I could really use the business. If you'd be so kind. What do you have for sale? I am not... So... Different armor... What? Hmm. Yeah, this I I'm gonna organically discover this. Hopefully. Um switch. He doesn't laugh insanely at the end of his sentences, he's nuts. <laughs> when, when, the, when you're the one souls character who doesn't laugh. Yeah. Is this going to be a mimic already? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if Discord, if Dylan wasn't in a call, just a, a spirit joining me along the way. Like, I'm, I'm matching my purple crow on your shoulder. <laughs> I don't know what that means. The, my, like, icon. Oh, oh, I gotcha. I thought that was, like, is that, uh, some sort of thing in Bloodborne? <laughs> the purple crow? Is that some sort of, um, invader? You know, that all the invaders are, uh... Oh, Ow! Yeah. Hey, wait! What? The, why? <laughs> I can't even reach them! No! <laughs> I can't reach them! <laughs> okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> what are they? They're like little pigs? Yeah, they're right? little like hoglings. Why, why are you so mad? There we go. Oh, wow, they are... Don't you... I what the Don't heck? you have like a downward swing? Yeah. You gotta use your like downward swing. I don't know how! I have this, but... I... Uh... I swear you is it the power attack? Uh no. No, maybe maybe one handed it is. Hold on. We're, <laughs> we're gonna solve the, this the, with the bonfire. The, is it the R2? Um so there's that. That. Um, and then there's that. Which is my downward oh, attack, God. but it didn't seem to reach them. There. Go back where you came from, stupid little pigs. <laughs> Um, so what were we doing? Um, I don't think I was in here. Was I? Jump attack, okay. So, why is it that people are either telling me that- Oh. Oh, is it a cat? It is a cat. Oh. Hi, cat. Hello, Dolly. Yes. Hi, cat. One without much time remaining. Okay. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> hmm. Well, suit yourself. Oh yes, you may call me Shalwa. 
Enchanté. Yeah, it's just a main so, coon. What did you want anyway? Ooh, you smell wonderful. <laughs> I don't like that. Covenants. Oh, Covenants joined. Okay. Items. Expensive cat rings and stuff. What do we doing the bonfire? Prism stone for enemies. Block us just recovery. Nothing suited you, I presume. Nope. Well, that's dismay. All right, what happened here? Probably people fighting the pigs. I just <laughs> mobile live dashboard. What is this? Manage your. I don't need to manage my channel from my phone. Twitch. <laughs> Not everything needs to be an app. Twitch. Behind the cats. Uh... Every single thing of advice that I see that has a exclamation point after it, I am going to assume is there to kill me. This is... Eh. Okay, I'm going down here. Maybe I should, but I was wondering about buying some armor, though. Like, I think I'm, I am actually just going to buy some armor, unless I can find... A guy that sells weapons. Did he sell weapons and I just didn't see? Let's see. Oh, hello again. Um, just shields. Okay. Um, I am kind of tempted to get this. Um, because then at least it's putting my souls into something. Uh, is there a compare button here? Uh, I don't think so. Why is there not a compare button? Well, I guess you don't use the store window much. Um. Yeah, it, uh. X to show item info? I mean, it doesn't really, it's... I was hoping I could see, like, stat comparisons. Yeah, you'd have to exit out of this and see what you're currently wearing. Yeah, let's see. Well, I, I, well, I do hope I see you again. Um... What is this? Did I get Let's that somewhere? That's the outfit you started off with before you selected your class. Ah, gotcha. Okay. So, a whole bunch of numbers, which I'm not going to remember. Um, Thank you. What else do we have here? There's a shield, which actually might be a good idea. If I pop some souls to get a shield. Maybe I'll get the shield. I hope I see you again. I'll get the shield. Unless, okay, I am gonna ask, is there like a shield like right down the path that I'm gonna get and wish I hadn't bought a shield from him? Uh, I can't remember. Okay, I'm just gonna buy a shield from him. Well, thank you for coming back. It's whatever, like it's, it's, it's dark. Take a look at my <clears throat> it's dark souls, right? Like souls are expendable. Oh, yeah, you you're gonna, you'll, you'll get tons of souls. I hope I see you. Yeah. Um. That's the that's the brilliant thing about um at least the first one and I assume the others as well uh cuz it was true of Elden Ring also which oh this, yeah there we go um which is that they make the souls like seem really valuable and like if you have a bunch of souls you're in like it's a huge loss if you lose them but because of the way the difficulty is scaled it's like you never actually lose progress like at yeah. most it's like oh well maybe you because then you go to the next area and like you're getting way more yeah it's just it's a really good way of um by, whoop, of like creating tension without back. making it so the player can soft lock now i do know there are some mechanics in here that might uh oh oh you don't have enough strength oh, to yeah use it. I forgot to check that. Oops. Okay, well, I have a useless shield now. 
Time to go down this path with no fear, since I wasted all my souls. Weak arm, <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, you can two-hand the shield. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering if that was possible. Uh, okay, what? Try rear butthole. All right, all right. While you're ahead, mm. try item. Okay. Contraption does not move. Ooh, something down there. Let's see what sort of horrors we encounter down this path. Wait a sec. Can I take the torches? No. Okay. Punch the well. Do not punch the well, dude. Hmm. <laughs> yes, of course you watch me suffer for comedy. <laughs> do do we... we watch this man suffer for comedy? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes, we do. Whoa, oh, I thought I saw something. Be wary of ch Oh, now is this the mimic? This is going to be a mimic, isn't it? I'm going to do it anyway. Nope. Okay. Freaking mimics. Try left and then try switch. Okay. Can I rate... So I can see and rate these without the soapstone? Yes. I think so. Okay. But I can't leave them without the soapstone, right? Correct. Ooh, this camera gets a little, uh, tight. Oh, look at that water! That's a bit rough. Oh, yeah. Huh. Anyway. Um... <laughs> Crap, a new shield. <laughs> uh... Can I go in here without dying? It appears so. Yeah, that's not gonna... I'm not gonna be able to open that. Something did say something about a switch. Is that a switch? That is a switch, okay. That indeed is a switch. <clears throat> yeah, there's some odd contraptions in this game. Yeah. But the well... Alright, alright. We're gonna... We'll go do this well thing that people either want me to do or don't want me to do. What's a what's a Miyazaki switch? Yeah, what is a Miyazaki switch? Is it when it's huge? It, yeah, like a big like lever one. Let's not go. <laughs> what is <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, the big ones in the ground you pull. I always like yeah. the the blood warm the bloodborne ones feel the best. Because was just really chunky. And then the gates take like two hours to open. <laughs> oh, there's a path up there too. I kind of want to go up there. That looks cool. Um, Where was the well? I wonder... So there is one thing I actually do want to adjust. Um, Can I adjust the dead zone? Doesn't look like it. Okay, there is a mo there is a mod that allows you to adjust the dead zone. It's pretty aggressive in this game. It's sure. a little aggressive. That's fine though. I can get used to it. Boss ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Aha! What did I get? Estus flask shard. Ah! <laughs> I was I was looking at chat. I thought. <laughs> oh my god. I almost. I almost tried body butthole. <laughs> almost, almost got a, our first death to the hole. Yeah. This water looks decent. I mean, if you look really closely at it, you're like, uh. But like, if yeah. Are they still co ah? <laughs> They're still coming. Why are they so angry? They're just angry little piggies. But why? It's a hard life for a pig. Napoleon syndrome, or Napoleon complex pigs. Three little piggies of rage. 
<laughs> yeah. They'll huff and they'll puff and they'll suck all your souls up, I guess? Okay, so I want to go up there because it looks cool. I see all of the scary looking blood stains. I don't care. Um, and people with much better equipment than me are fighting something and dying to it. Cool. Hurrah for bravery. What, Neil? Oh, enter Covenant. I don't know if I should enter the Covenant or not. Let's get this thing first. Oh, Homeward Bone. Nice. Is this the cat? Is this a cat covenant? Like, no. Am I going to irrevocably screw things up if I enter this covenant? Not uh, like Ir irrevocably. Yeah. No. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, screw it. I'm gonna enter the cover. Uh. Nope. 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 <laughs> I think. I think I have enough of an arduous path waiting for me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we were so close. <laughs> What's that up? is the uh, <laughs> that is the covenant of champions, and it makes uh, the game much harder. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> the CBT that, that, covenant. That is the CBT covenant. <laughs> yeah, it makes like all the enemies like higher difficulty. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm not joining that one. <clears throat> we almost got him. <laughs> I take it you can leave it at some point. Yeah, I think you can abandon the Covenant at the cat. Oh, okay. Is that why my game was so hard for me? Someone didn't mm. read the um. Yeah. Someone did not know what the word arduous ma means. Hmm. Is this switch timed? Let's just drop it. Yeah, this this water's rough. This is <laughs> this, I they should have just gone with the Dark Souls one water, I think. Uh, more blood stains everywhere. Again, people with better equipment than me dying horrible deaths. Not a good sign. That's a bad sound. That's okay. It's just that. I'm just, I'm waiting for the boulder to show up. The boulder. Yeah. Illusionary wall ahead. Oh. Interesting. What did that open? Is there something down there? What did that open? Did it just open? I guess it just opened that. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Shoot. I am gonna check for an illusionary wall. You know what they should add? They should add like disillusionary walls. No, disillusionary. Wall. Well, no, th that's not quite the right name, but it's like instead of you hitting it and it reveals a hidden path, you hit it and it just instantly kills you. I am going to give you one freebie here because okay. I, this is such an asinine change that I don't understand why they did it. Um some of the illusionary walls you attack, some of them you have to press interact on. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think. I'll just check to make sure. I don't think this is one just because there's a switch there. It's pointless. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I can. I, I don't think I could there. Um, that's true. There are dead, dead zone settings in Steam Overlay. Hello? No Steam Overlay? Oh, I guess... We have to do it the keyboard way. Um, I don't know if they was if the game has a hard coded dead zone though. Would this really affect it? Yes, uh, I th I had to tweak the dead zones for Elden Ring and it worked. Okay. Um, it's really the this one that is. Um, dead zones. Here we go. Um, doesn't look like this, yeah, it doesn't have a, unless now that I've enabled Steam input it, oh, I see, I see, I see, okay. We'll yeah, just... you might, you might need a mod for it. 
I'll try it. Oh, yeah, okay. but that might get you banned from online play. That's oh, great. really? Yeah. Oh, well, I don't want to... I don't want to do that. How would I... So do I disable Steam input now? No, 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 no. Um, the, the Steam overlay stuff won't get you banned. Uh, we were... We were chat was talking about... Uh, oh, the getting, Dead Zone mod. Okay, I see. Yeah, getting a mod. Um... Yeah, I'll try a... I'll try adjusting it. Yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to do... Do that, for sure. I'll try making it more just like this... make sure the stick doesn't yeah that seems good um okay uh are we good then i think yeah okay i think it's saved Let's see if that did anything um uh, there we go. Hmm. I don't think it did. That's okay. Yeah, it, it might just be hard coded then. Yeah, that's fine. Number one ahead of the four. Okay. What we got broken thief sword. Yeah, I mean it's not like a precision aim game, so it's not a huge deal. That's why I'm okay playing with, like, um, joysticks for this. Because it's just like, oh, I don't have to precision aim and track stuff. Gorgeous view ahead. Of <laughs> well, it looks like it could be gorgeous. There could also be a boulder coming down here, for all I know. Heights Tower of Fame. Oh, I'm getting a bloop. Who is blooping me? Um, who is blooping me? Just making sure it's not my wife being like, David, the house is on fire. Um. Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, anyway. Uh, who is you? Who is you? Are you... You're alive. He is alive. Um, you cannot speak to him. Okay, so that's not just because people have put messages there. Oh, look at that. Got a dude. Hmm. The house sits on fire. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't look like somewhere I'm going to be able to make much progress in. Let's go back. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I guess I could try. I don't have anything to lose, really. I only have 60 souls, so. Oh, there's a bonfire right there. Oh, try it. There we go. <laughs> okay, I got the bonfire. Yeah, there was that toggle. I just wasn't sure if, you know, now. Okay, actually, yeah, this water looks kind of funky. You're right. <laughs> From far away, it looked okay. Here, it's like. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're just sort of like, it looks good enough from far away. Yeah, I mean, and honestly, like, who cares, really? It's just, like, that's what I kind of like about, well, Dark Souls 1, uh, and this also, I guess, in a way, it's like, it looks good when it matters. Like, when it comes to, like, their, you know, the silhouettes of stuff and the color choices and how the aesthetic, like, impacts the atmosphere and stuff. It's, like, done relatively precisely but when it's like oh does the water look realistic i don't know who the fuck cares <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> like it works oh can i do the huh is not backstabbable yeah i guess not oh oh that oh! <laughs> and goodbye <laughs> Does that forest under Duke's archive matter? What do you mean about... Does the for... The, um... 
What well, you mean uh, the, uh, the, the the forest leading to the crystal caves? Right. Do you mean we care about? That? Um. Nice health. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, isn't that that's right? I guess I do have something to lose. My health. Correct. Um. I think it caps at fifty percent. Okay. Well, that's good. Um. Ooh. Um, if you're talking about Dark Root Garden, I think that's... Oh, and there's... <laughs> and... Ron Six. I will hear no... I, I will hear n no bad-mouthing of Lost Azalith. It is... It, Lost Azalith is, like... It's one of those, like, creepy... Uh, like... <clears throat> it's one of those, like, um... Liminal space abandoned game, ooh creepy sort of meme like, like creepy pasta things. But it exists. It's it's <laughs> that's why it's they cool. They shipped it. Yeah, it's like creepy abandoned game liminal space aesthetics by accident. It's amazing. Anyway, um, no, if you're talking about Dark Root Garden, um, I think Dark Root Garden is like one of the best looking places in that game. In that game. <clears throat> Yeah, I deserved that one. That was really stupid. Seven. <laughs> <clears throat> no, it's, I literally... Yeah, and the suction cap aliens are great. Um, <clears throat> no, I, I, I love... Lo like, there are obvious reasons Lost Azalith is annoying. Um, and I know that it was, like, eye-searingly bad in the original release. But... I just think seeing something that is so obviously, like, I don't know, like, like just things like seeing the, um, seeing all the, like, brush-placed monsters and stuff, it just looks, oh, that was very close. Um, it just looks to me, like, dangerous and not, not like something that was... Reliably designed and play tested to be well balanced, because I can see all of the stuff that's like, oh, uh, this this seems like it was done really quick, and something about that is just to me it's kind of, it's creepy. Ooh. <laughs> I thought maybe I could. Uh, you juke him, but no. <clears throat> yeah, I Bed of Chaos is absolute garbage, though. But I kind of like the fact that it exists, and we can all commiserate on how un, un yeah is. unbelievably awful Bed of Chaos is, <laughs> and how painful it is to fight. Whiffed that. You know, I don't think the strong attack is doing that much more on this guy. Oh, nice. Okay. Let me out of here. <laughs> um, yeah, I have not found a way to get my health back, which is going to start getting real, real dicey here. Oh, oh, it was a three count. Okay. It looked like it was just going to be a two. Oh! Oh! There's that lack of ADP leveling getting me. I'm going to grab this. Up. Um. Do I want to use a life gem on this? I don't know. On this run. Mm. Or I could just reset and try again. Or I could lure this guy down here and then run ahead and hope that he doesn't follow me. <laughs> ah! I see. I see the problem. 
Okay. Is there any chance I could get this guy to fall off? Is the question. Uh, I don't think I've... Is he going to follow me? That definitely looks like following is occurring. They're pretty slow, which is good. This place looks really cool, too. Yeah. Um, try... There's an item there. There's a bunch of guys in here. Hmm. What is that? That's like a... Oh, jeez. I've just made this worse for myself by not fighting him. Okay, come here. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, I was a split second too late on the button. Hammerman. Hammerman. Ratio him on Twitter. <laughs> I think, yeah. Is, is it eight or is it nine? Can't remember. Oh, the death count. Right. See, I, I already forgot about it. Ooh, four. Okay. Oh, I'm out of stamina, dang it. <laughs> I don't know if there's a way to get them to, uh, to flinch back. Oh. <clears throat> oh! An attempt was made. <laughs> yeah, these guys don't seem that bad. Um, just once I get used to it. Did I do a, a Doom Guy grunt? 50% health! We've reached rock bottom! I think, right? Uh, where's my health? HP, 880. Um, it is unclear. Okay. Now the question is, do I even need to be here? Um, so I am gonna ask... For real, so... Is, if I go all the way back to Majula... There we go! There we go! That's what we're talking about. Um, if I, if I hoof it all the way back to Majula, is there another direction that I would find? Yes. Okay. I might go do that. What's our time? It's two o'clock, so we... <clears throat> Whoa, lots of people in chat. Um, oh, right, I can teleport. Now, before I do that, though, I am tempted to try and kill this guy just because I'm mad at him. Whoop. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just go back. <laughs> he disagrees, yeah. It's like... He's like, come at no, me. No, you ain't. <laughs> like, no, you're not. <laughs> Hammer guy's a proper bastard. Yeah. I did invade his personal space, that's true. Alright, let's look around a little bit more here. Um, we have this. That, that's not where I came from. That's where I came from. So is this whole path. Let's just see what's down here, I guess. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Rusted coin. Good. So is th this is one of those areas where it's like, hmm, this probably was meant to have better lighting happening. Yeah, right? this this room notoriously has broken lighting. Yeah, that's real sad. It honestly, it doesn't look that bad. It just looks like unlit. You know what I mean? Like it yeah. look, it's like there's nothing wrong with it except that there's no lighting. Hmm. Just a uh, empty room. Ooh. Yeah, it has some <laughs> it has some ambient occlusion. That's about it. Hmm. 
Hello? Dis what was that? Interesting. Let's try that again. <laughs> Going to... What is that beeping noise? There it's, we go. I think it's supposed to be like squeaking. Oh, my, like, okay. Ears. I kind of, <laughs> I kind of like this with the the white washed out looking rock and just my just my light halo oh wait how is now how is this down so deep after not very deep place hall? uh you were you were going down quite a bit i think this place mm, does okay <laughs> okay i'll believe you i am the one i am not the one with spatial awareness so jumping off required ahead and then hurrah for chest Really? There is a chest. Let's see if it is a hurrah chest or not. Ah! Is that... Is that a... Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna be paranoid and... Human effigy. Okay. Um, there appear to be two paths forward now. There's a lot of bloodstains there, but it's only a short way back up. Let's see what they were doing. Hmm. Unclear how they it died. Is unclear. Unclear <laughs> how those. That guys one's died. more clear. Yeah. So I could go that way, too. I'm just gonna look at- it looks like we're going back into sunlight. Just kind of weird. Oh! Oh, okay- oh. Ah, the hippopotamus man. I see, so we weren't really underground. We were just kind of inside a mountain. Yeah, like a cliff edge. Yeah. Yeah, instead of mimics, someone spat out, uh, the chest would spit out the, the evil little Majula pigs. I'm gonna try this way. <laughs> what?! I was waiting for that to happen. <laughs> That's not fair! <laughs> Did you press B instead of the stick? No, I didn't even know it was a pit! I didn't oh, see it was you a didn't pit. Even, you just no. walked off. I just walked off, yeah. Alright, let's do that again. Um, so, I don't... I think I started asking this question and I never finished asking it. So why do some people say Scholar of the First Sin is the only way to play this and some people say that it's the worst way to play this? Because uh, Scholar of the First Sin um, makes... So basically what Scholar of the First Sin does is it, it's basically it bundles all the DLC into the main game. Mm -hmm. um, it, it kind of changes the enemy positions in certain areas. Like... Um, those uh the the knights that are like kneeling or sitting where you were yeah and, the, and the, those guys aren't usually there at that point um, okay uh and um there's a couple other things that it does uh it has a little bit of a uh, bit more story and whatnot um the reason why people dislike it is that it's generally considered a harder less fair experience really so, um some of these some of the enemy additions are going to be a bit more like oh this is annoying huh. um the reason why we're playing scholar of the first sin is because it is because it's the most recent release and because it bundles all the dlc and uh, you, you don't have to like individually buy them uh, it's played much more commonly than um, the vanilla game. Mm -hmm. So, like, I checked before deciding um, which one to play. I looked up both, like, the player counts for Scholar and for the original game, which is still on Steam. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, 200 for the original game and, like, $2,000. Ah, uh, so okay. <laughs> I, my, my impression was that it'd be more if the multiplayer aspect was more active at the cost of sometimes the game is going to be a bit more 
or it's going to be less forgiving in places. It's like, Dark I'm Souls. Pretty... I wasn't yeah. expecting it to ever be forgiving in any way. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can't, I don't know if that hippopotamus guy is there here, too. It's been, it's been, a, it's been a while since I played the vanilla experience. What's your favorite one? Uh, Scholar or Vanilla? Uh, I'm used to Scholar now, but I do agree that's, um, like, when we get to the Iron Keep, there's, there's a couple boss, or a couple, like, normal enemy positions that are like, Jesus Christ. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just used to Scholar now. I've played Scholar okay. for so long. Ooh. Just do a rush attack again. And slicey dicey, there we go. That guy's just hanging out. I will not bother him if he doesn't bother me. This is a cool area so far. It's a nice sort of like... Um, I like the the sky. With its, it's all gray and so you just have like the sunlight. Um, the sunlit environment against the gray sky is always really cool. Yeah, like, it's, it's weird. Like some parts of this game... It's really beautiful, and then some parts it's like, what the fuck happened? Life jump. Yeah. Yeah, I would say actually, uh, the, ooh, this is not good. I would say the starting area I thought did not look very good. Um. But, not Majula. Majula looks gorgeous, obviously. Um, but the, uh, the starting area where you're in the, the cave, and it's, um, I thought the, the lighting was a little not rough it's just it was <clears throat> a little too heavy and a little too contrasty anyway that's nitpicking though anyway i really like this with the like see up you get the nice um yeah half-life 2 does that all the time also um well sometimes no 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 i'm sorry half-life 2 does the opposite um like you know the um the river the uh, the shot, the shot we all love with with the barn and during the airboat section, you know, it's like the barn and you have the sky. That one of the reasons that looks so good is because the sky, um, the part where the sun is, is just super blown out, so it silhouettes everything. Um, <clears throat> really nice. Yeah, uh, we're talking about like the beginning of the the, the airboat section. Yeah, right? be yeah, yeah, it's gorgeous. Okay, there was a fire over here. This should not kill me. Correct. This, this doesn't is, this is... look like it should kill me. Yeah, this is shallow water. This, But yeah, I just love this area. It feels like so visually. With all these like this moss and the, the barren trees and stuff. Very much my sort of aesthetic. Yeah, I saw it in the distance. Explore a bit before going up. No. <laughs> I'm gonna light the bonfire. Is that a... Okay. <clears throat> what about Guinevere's room? Oh, all the Dark Souls stuff smells off. Gotcha. Ooh, a throwing knife. Okay, that will be handy. Those are always nice when you're like, I am not going to get closer yeah. to to deal that, that last little bit of damage. You, sir. Oh, they lead! They lead now! Oh, near! Oh, okay. Oh, no! <laughs> they lead! <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts on the water shader? Um, this looks, this looks just... Ooh. Oh! Oh! Hold on. <laughs> Let me take care of the gank for a second here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Are we cool? All right. Um. It look. It. This just looks like the normal Dark Souls water shader, which has never been all that great, but it does the job. I mean, again, it's like. Could this water have looked prettier and more like actual water? Absolutely. Does it matter? Not really. This scene, this, it's still, you know, the atmosphere communicates and the whole feel of it is still great. The water looking a little outdated, very outdated, um, 
doesn't change that. You know what I mean? It's like they generally in in what I've played of these games, they prioritize the correct sort of aesthetics. Where it's like the the stuff that actually affects the overall feel of the area and the uh you know, how the um these water in twenty fourteen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these were these this was outdated looking even for the time, but again, it's like it doesn't matter. Yeah, it, I, I think it look, I think it looks fine for this yeah, area. Yeah, it looks fine. Like it does. I guess that's what I'm trying to say is like if you look close at it. Yeah, this is really outdated. This is like this is like 2000, 2003 water. But if you're just looking at the area, it doesn't stick out coloring wise. It has that nice, um, slightly slightly deep blue look, slightly greenish look to the. So it's blending in well with the environment. Um, you know, it's darker, it's not, like I said, it's not sticking out, so it really doesn't matter, at least to me. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to look at you. Ooh, this is interesting. No, I'm just inside a giant stump, was that? Or, huh. No, I guess those are just a bunch of roots. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like this. It's green blossom. Ah! <laughs> oh, so it's like your character is perfectly blocking him. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, I just heard the footsteps and panicked. Okay, I got the range right that time. Oh, that timing oh, was so close. Oh, oh. oh my god. It was so close. But like this, like, this looks very visually outdated, but it feels awesome. Like, it feels so barren. It's just a few trees and bare grass texture like it just it feels really cool to me even though this looks like a game from like 2001 right now but with yeah but with some more advanced shaders but the feel is great and that's what really matters i'm not going through that wall of fog right now ah, ha, 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 ha. hello Nope, nope, I will- NOPE! I will win- NO! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's continue. Automod, the word ass is not going to offend people. Hello. It's fine. Oh, slap his ass is a term? That's three different words! No, I'm not going to fall off the ladder. Grass. That was so funny last time. <laughs> Automata. Automata wants to keep I mean, the ass to itself. I can sympathize, but we have to we have to make some compromises sometimes. Classic ASIC Automata. Asic, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this, this feels wrong, this feels wrong, this feels like I'm going to fall off if I clip into things just wrong. Okay, got me a soul. Ooh. Got a decent number of souls, but really nothing to spend them on so far. <laughs> um, unless... So I'll, I'll ask for actual advice again. Is there someone back in Majula that I can talk yes. to to level up or... Yeah? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Somehow I, I missed that. Well. And usually, like, in that case, probably right there. Oh, okay. Um, I was... I would have figured on going back to check anyway, since there's a... Rolling required? Really? Um, since there's a bonfire nearby. Right. So, 
Ooh, a sword, finally. Um, so I might as well just ask. But in other cases, it's genuinely more fun for me to just figure... Oh, that's no, broken. Okay. Um, heck yeah. Short sword. Now if we could just... <laughs> Ain't no way bro doesn't have Estus. No, I don't. I... No. <clears throat> I don't. Um, I've been doing just fine with the life gems, though. I actually kind of like the life gems. Yeah, the life gems are actually great. I so like is them. there is there no use for them anymore? I guess just when no, Estus runs out. Yeah. Okay. And they he they heal over time, so they're, they're kind of nice to have, like, a... Like, you can stay on the offensive while they heal you. Okay. Makes sense. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> I I remembered this being the way to go, and then my I was checking chat, and my brain saw a hole, and I didn't want to <laughs> fall down a hole. Uh, I wonder how I'd get up there. So what time is it? 2.18. So yeah, we'll have to be... We'll have to finish up here in a few minutes. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you can, you can fast there. travel. Yeah. There used to be a hole here, but it's gone now. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go to Majula and fix my mistakes. The quicker to use... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's shorter animation. Gotcha. See this. I love this aesthetic yeah, of, this of this area. It's so this. Um, this is going to this is going to sound really wanky, and I don't mean it to. But I was I keep hearing the Majula theme, and I'm like, wait, isn't that the thing? Because I wrote something really similar to this. It's actually oh, it's um. Similar to end of a end of a journey that I did for Dusk, and then there was another thing that hasn't been in a game yet that I wrote that has basically the same sort of instrument and chord progression. So I keep hearing it and being <laughs> like, "Wait, isn't that?" Uh, they're worn beyond recognition. Okay, but yeah, this whole aesthetic is so cool. The wind, the whole windswept. Like, Ooh, what's that? How do I get? Ali's always like. The Majula music reminds me of the beginning of that Evanescent song. <laughs> no, I'm not saying Dark Souls 2 stole from- Mine isn't as good, I'm just saying it keeps reminding me of it. Yes, 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 I'm- Yes, yes. Settlement. Okay. Kind of. And in Dran Lake these days, there are very few places- Oh, this isn't Lordrum. This is a different place. Yeah, we're we're dr uh, we're Dranglic now. Okay. <laughs> Does it show mine? No. If if you play offline, it'll show just yours. Oh, I see. But but uh, on online, it shows everyone's cumulative deaths. Gotcha. And like you, I lost everything, and now I'm here. Is he? The same voice actor as Dark Souls 1, or does he just sound similar? Uh, I don't know. I, have, I, I don't know if he's a... He might be the Crestfallen... That guy, yeah. The Crestfallen Warriors voice actor. Okay. Yes, yes, souls. Yeah, souls do the soul thing. Do you see what that... To be alive. To walk this... That's the real That's curse. The real curse. Right there. We undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. He's not wrong. <coughs> so he, he does and actually tell you one one more thing if you talk to him. Okay. <coughs> there are four beings in this land with giant souls. Is there a being with giant other things? Because there was one in the other game and I liked her. That was a dumb joke. I'm sorry. Has a powerful soul. Okay. And a terrible curse. Gotcha. You, then you want to just give up right now, like I have. 
See, isn't that the same voice actor? Uh, actually, he's 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 more to tell you. Okay, whether crop the joy of an undead is long and treacherous. You will face invaders from other worlds at every. It's time. the same voice. Okay. Okay. Cool. <coughs> Why not proclaim faith in the blue sentinels? When you face danger, the blue sentinels will come to your aid. Okay. Protection is yours if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. Um. <clears throat> yeah. So this covenant is like the first. Unique. This is the first covenant that uh, you get. Okay. That won't crush your fucking head in. So this is, um, I can summon help from other players, basically? Yeah, so if you get invaded by a player, um, this, this Covenant being active will call in, uh, blue, uh, phantom players to help defend you. Okay. Um, am I able to control when that happens? When a blue is, su is summoned? Yeah. No. Okay. Um, but I can join this at any time, right? Right. I'm just gonna say no for now, then. I see. If you ever require help, yeah, come I back will stay here and pray for your safety. It's the baby man clubhouse. Oh, <laughs> is it, does, does it require you to wear the ring? Oh, okay. Well, I might as well join that, then. Oh, let's learn his gesture. Sure, I'll try. <clears throat> um, yeah, this I've. Whoops, whoops, whoops! I didn't mean to press that twice. On your journey. Um, I I think that guy does a phenomenal performance in both games. Like yeah. uh, people don't talk about him much. Like the or that I've seen, but I've always thought that voice performance for the Crestfallen dude in Dark Souls 1 was, like, really good. Um, I don't know, there's just something about it that's, it's like, every, every word he's saying, you're kind of, like, hanging on to, and he, his tone is perfect, or it's like, it makes you uncomfortable, and it's, yeah, I've just always thought he was really good. <clears throat> okay, this was the cat house the cat oh hello cat what's happened you oh. have that glint in your eye and the scent of one with quite the catalog of sins hmm it's been to the shady shack one too many times i'm sure your mother's still proud no <laughs> she's very disappointed um comments. what did you have again Nothing, Nothing much. Okay. What time are we at? I have about five minutes. Well, that's dismaying. Will he find the seek, seek, lest... What? The what now? Uh, I, I'm just going to give you a hint right now. Yeah. You've walked past the person that you learned leveling up from like five times now. Really? Yeah. Huh. Something I just so many times it's unbelievable. Really, <laughs> missing my. It's probably because I keep glancing over at chat. Okay, I'm not gonna look at chat. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go back to the fire. Is there anyone in this tent? So talk to that dude. see. He lo keeps looking at the wall. What? I'm gonna feel real- oh! Oh, okay, right there. <laughs> Hello. Are you the next mother? Or merely a pool of fate? Probably more the latter the one. The it's a Souls game. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. Go on and see the king. He who made Drangleg what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King of 
no longer maidens. Yeah, but she doesn't have enormous cleavage like the 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 in giant lady in Dark Souls One. Oh, I may level up by. I saw it, and then it disappeared. Enormous. So, if you sit at the bonfire, she will she will now appear next to the bonfire. Oh, okay. Or, uh, she usually does. Maybe... Uh, you should be able to still level at her and stuff. Okay. We know where the... <laughs> yeah, it's... Oh. Um, here, we'll try talking Seek to her. those whose names are their soul. Once you have... So that hope will... Okay, I'll just fast travel. <clears throat> I want to be in that forest anyway, so... Um... Forest of the Fallen Giants. That one, yeah. <laughs> I've been told that this is basically the, um... Elden Ring point zero point five. Um, I mean, I don't know. She's giving me the request. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. Okay, rest here. Magic lady. No, she only appears by the uh, the bonfire in Majula. Oh, okay. So she you moves. have to go to Majula to level up. Yes. Okay. Correct. Good to know. <clears throat> Just have to exhaust your dialogue. Okay, yeah, you you have to exhaust your dialogue. No, oh, no, there. no, here she is. Okay, she moved to is that, that a spot, I guess. It is. Here, let me see it to see light, however okay. faint it might be. Oh yeah, we're good. Um. So, give yes, upgrade my Estus flask. Right now, we shall level up. I need to leave very, very soon. Um. Okay, so we're gonna level up ADP, right? Uh, that should go up. Both, both your vigor and ADP should pop. Point. Yeah. Um. No. How do I get rid of? He oh, I can only do ADP. Okay, guess we're doing ADP. Okay, now how do I make my health less halved? For that, you either need to use a human effort um, to make yourself human again, or you'll need to get a ring that uh, you get later. Okay, wow, so there that's a bit punishing. So they really right. wanted to make it so that you're encouraged to be human more than in Dark Souls 1, huh? Yeah. Okay. Does this game have respec? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, what is the current death count? Anyone know? I think we're... I can now quit nine. my Estus, that's a good point. Um, yeah, so oh, I we're am... At 11. I am fairly blind. Uh, that is true. But I will also say that there is something about streaming where immediately, as soon as you're streaming, like... At least 30% of your ability to do things is gone. And then if you're trying to look at chat at the same time, it's like, that's another hit. Um, so, I'm not, like, I am stupid, for sure. But also, I streaming just makes you way more stupid. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, anyway, yeah, that's gonna have to be... Um, unfortunately, that's gonna have to be it for now, because I need to go get my daughter from school. Um, but we will continue with Dark Souls 2 because this I like this a lot so far. Yeah. Um, it's honestly the stuff... The, like the fact that you have to use consumables for things like healing and, and um, stuff like that, I, I actually like. <laughs> like, I think that's really cool. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to keep enjoying it as we continue but um for now yeah thank you everyone for watching uh the plan is to do this every friday around this time right dylan yes is that, yeah um, so that is the plan um 
And I will... Hmm. I'll try to let people know if the plan changes. Um, but for now, that's that's what we're planning on doing, is that every Friday... <laughs> every Friday uh, is Punishment Day. Yeah, every Friday is, is David Punishment Day. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm going to head out and get... Uh, so my child is not left alone. Um, but thank you guys for watching, and thank you, Dylan, for joining me. And we will all be back here same time next week. Yay! Bye!